Welcome back to uh, Reds TV. What you uh, see in my garage, banners and um, racing stickers, I'm not sponsored by. Um, a lot of reasons I delete all my messages and all that messenger and stuff is because I ran out of storage space, so I had to delete a bunch of that, continue making the video. But anyway, we're back here where I left off. Bleeding this, uh, bench bleeding this mash cylinder. I need to get my screwdriver up. Okay, let me put up. We're gonna push this in one more time. Unscrew this one. Do these one at a time. We're gonna push it slow. That way you don't shoot brake fluid all everywhere. Push in the center. Still here, it's got a little air in it. You can tell I'm letting loose of it sucking air. But we're going to still uh, bleed it on the uh, vehicle once I change the caliber and uh, the rear wheel cylinders and all that stuff. You know, watch it don't cross through the plastic. Like I said, if you got one of them syringes that suck it out or a one man bleeder, that kind of works better. But it's pretty much bled. What we're going to do, unscrew these, let it uh, gravity bleed for a minute. some of the air out. Some more fluid in it. Yeah, I recommend you're supposed to change your fluid, your brake fluid. I forget it. How so often, but you are supposed to do it because brake fluid builds up condensation and starts to rust inside the lines and stuff. And you can see it's pouring out pretty good. So we're going to screw these uh, back in that way it don't drip fluid all over the paint and stuff. Is kind of nasty. Put the cap on it. Wipe the hands. We're gonna go over here and uh, set up. And get set the camera up and get ready for the uh, stall of my cylinder. Just hold on a minute. Well, one of the differences in the master cylinder is this one's got a. Uh, place for the plug into the mass cylinder and this one don't this one plugs into the uh, uh, the uh, I can't think of what it's called there oh the separator block uh, plugs into there but basically uh, you can see I've already never seized never seized and you can see the rubber the rubber right there it fell off and you never want to adjust you never want to mess with that and then you want to make sure this is clean because this is where it seals with vacuum make sure that slides onto the rod and you, you want to make sure that's on the rod there it'll go and not have no pedal I got it on the rod. Yep, it's on there. And then you want to take, start the nuts without dropping them. Like I said these threads are a little rusted. I put never sees on them.
put it down here. I'll tighten it up. It ain't gonna let me do it. Ratchet bang forth. Snug it up, you want to get this other side. On there. It's kind of hard to do it one handed. With them little bleeder things in the way. The block of bleeders. the fluid not to drip all over the place like I said brake fluid eats paint it does real damage so I'm gonna try to hurry up and put it in there as fast as you can hopefully the fittings are the same two-handed job because you don't want to get them cross-threaded then you get the brake line line wrench you always want to use line wrench brake line fittings are uh, fragile and they uh, round real easy yeah another thing y'all watch is make sure that you got the correct threads in there because a lot of their ones look the same but they won't have the uh same threads, you'll probably get adapter, and a lot of them come at weight. Snug that up. Snug that up. Guess we'll uh, start her up and see how the pedal feels. We're going to start her up and uh, see how the brake pedal feels here.
actually feels pretty good. It feels like it goes down just a tiny little bit, but like I said, I still got to put a caliber on the front and do the rear back brakes because one of the back wheel cylinders, the bleeders broke off, so you really can't bleed it in the back. So I want to put brakes and wheel cylinders on it and then completely bleed the whole system. Cause it's got the ABS and we're going to bleed the mash cylinder better, pump it up. I'll make another video. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.